Well, hello and welcome to our live coverage on what is, of course, a very big day on the American continent. It is the opening day of this great competition, the great party featuring 12 nations, and the turnout reflects the significance. The atmosphere, a real treat for those who are part of it. It is indeed special. The Urbano Caldera is located slap bang in the middle of a residential district here in Villa Belmiro. It is certainly a venue that has a lovely homely feel to it. And here is the national anthem of Chile. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Well, Peter, I can tell you that both managers will have stressed the need for a very strong start here. Both have also indicated a, a front-foot approach. If that is the case, then I don't think we're going to be complaining at the end. I certainly hope we'll be eulogising. There's an awful lot resting on this, and we'll probably end up reflecting on that. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Roberto Firmino. Pretty much the ultimate team player, Peter, in that he gives his teammates a real lift and makes everyone feel better. He can drop deep to pick up the ball and create chances for others or drift wide to drag defenders out of position. And that versatility makes him really hard to defend against he's also full of running and he's extremely effective in that first line of defense yeah he'll be looking for a goal or two Aranquis Sanchez looking to run onto it gets away from his opponents He's thrust his way through. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. Sanchez with an air of confidence about him, a certain swagger. It opened up really nicely when the defence got all tentative then. Uh, they were cautious in making contact, but safe in numbers. Alexandro. Casemiro plays it out to the wing. Alexandro pumps it into the area. Forward it goes. Chile seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No. Uh, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Alexandro has come steaming up from the back for this. Gets up to head it! Goal! Brazil! And Brazil take the lead! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway.
Brazil get themselves into the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. And it's Neymar. A buccaneering run from the defender. Done very well to intervene. Vargas. With a delicate ball. William. Tries to get it forward quickly. And the weighted pass. And he's cut it out. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. And it's played forward. This is promising. And the ball is out of play. Alexandro. Brazil are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Hoists it forward. Alexis Sanchez. Thiago Silva cuts it out. Just brushed off the ball there. Eduardo Vargas. And here's Vargas. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. And it's Sanchez. That's great strength on the ball. And that'll be the last act of the first half. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been... They pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Brazil go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Brazil carrying a one-goal lead. Drives it towards the front. Brought forward. What does he try from here? William. Hoists it forward. Marquinhos does well there. Alert. William. It's William! Oh, that was close. <laughs> Neymar. Neymar is steaming forward. Firmino. Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. Alexandro set up one goal so far. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. And it's played forward. Brazil really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. That's a decent ball. It's William! Really well taken goal. Two to the good. They have breathing space. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before, and no doubt they'll work it again.
Brazil take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And it's Sanchez. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Firmino. Plays it long. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Chile can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Forward it goes. Marquinhos positions himself well and cuts it out. Up towards the front line. Marquinhos gets into the right position to intercept. Arthur. Chile have it back and they can go again. Vidal tries to get it forward quickly. William over to the left. Alexandro opts to play it back. Oh, real danger here. He's gone for it. And more, and more, and more. And they are pulling clear here. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it. And that was a good example. Great contact. And the keeper had very little chance. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts, because he has put in a real honour shift. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Alexandro. Oh, that had to be more accurate. And it's Sanchez. Chance! Oh, taken with style! And they are right back within touch! And as soon as they made that error in midfield, they didn't have time to react before the ball hit the net. Very much a lesson learned. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. So, is this the start of a comeback? Alexandro. Alexis Sanchez. Time added on, four minutes. Casemiro battles to win it back. And now they can launch a counter. That is that. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day, 
and a platform on which to build. And what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the